Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Leo, and I'm here to answer some questions from the community. Today's question is, what sorts of things should I be paying attention to that could potentially be triggering or causing eczema flares? The truth is this is actually a little bit of a difficult question because there is so much heterogeneity between patients. For some patients, it can be something as little as a stress type event, it can be getting poor sleep, it can be a weather change. All of those are very legitimate possible causes for flaring things up. For others, it could be exposure to a kind of fabric or certain chemicals or to certain pets. For example, pet dander is, is not an uncommon thing that can trigger an itchy cycle that can then activate secondary eczema flare. Of course, we also know there are certain foods and environmental contacts that can trigger a flare up as well. So it's very difficult. One interesting thing about this time when we are actually all mostly staying at home is that we have a much more controlled view of our environment and the types of exposures that we have. So I think for some of my patients, it's been interesting. What I've been hearing is that they said, you know, I really thought X, Y, or Z was causing a flare up, but I've been home. I've really been controlling both my diet and my environment and it's flaring up kind of as always. So it's been interesting to see patients prove to themselves a little bit about what may or may not be flaring. One really nice thing that you can do is keep a journal. Try to write a journal of, of the foods you ate, the things you were exposed to, and how you're feeling that day. And there are a number of ways to do this. It can be electronic in your phone. It can be just as a pen and paper journal. But by doing this, you can then look back a few weeks behind where you're at to try to get a sense. We know that this would not be an immediate type reaction. It wouldn't be something like, you know, for example, when you get hives to eating a peanut, that's immediate. Within seconds or minutes, you begin to get lip swelling and hives. In some ways, that's very easy to know what caused it. It's so closely temporally associated. But for eczema flares, it could easily be a few days behind what's actually going on. So that's why it helps to actually create a log or a journal. It's one of those things that I wish we had better answers for, and many patients keep seeking the quote-unquote root cause. But unfortunately, for this condition, very rarely in my career do I find something straightforward and easy as a root cause. And I often say that, in a way, if you have made it to the point where you're seeing a dermatologist and you've seen a few people, it's probably not going to be that easy. The easy stuff gets filtered out quite early on. Those lucky folks who have a simple trigger that they can identify, they never really make it this far. I hope that helps, and I look forward to talking to you guys at the next one. Thank you.